remaining foot soldiers, we will soon travel to New York. I have decided that is what Tang Shen would have wanted. She always loved me deep inside. I was wrong about you all. You may go out again tonight, but for now, only at night. If you come across any enemies like that android, you may fight them, but do not let them get a good look at you. Yes, yes Sensei. Sensei. Dudes, we could like, totally be superhero crime fighters. Don't get too ahead of yourself, little brother. I mean, it's kinda true, Raf. Did you see what we did at that thing last night? Easy win. I didn't get a part of that beat-up, though, because of that stupid laser arm. No, it was because of your rage issues. Was not because of my rage issues. Well, I see your point. Guys, you won't believe it. This android technology is insane. Ooh, lot the possibilities I could do. Just thinking about it. It is time to train, my sons. Ugh. Is everything okay, Sensei? I sense something. Not close, but something disturbing my mind. Just don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Cowabunga, dudes, victory is mine. Whoa. Hey, that's not fair. Hey, how did a bat get in here? Whoa! <laughs> Come on, man, how do you still fall for that? Ever since those bats attacked me as a kid, I've always been afraid, okay? That's not fair. Can you make that against the rules, Sensei? No. You must learn to conquer your fears, Raphael. Leonardo has used that many times, and you should have learned by now it is just a distraction. Grrr. Whatever. I'm out of here. That seems to be enough training for today. Is this where we are staying? I made a deal with this guy over the phone. He will let us stay here for free, all because he is a big fan of the Foot Clan, apparently. It sounds fishy, but it's all we got. It is getting dark. We should get inside this place. You go ahead. Tell him I'll be there soon. I sense something is watching us. Uh, Raph, do you hear that? Hear what? Wait, shh. Listen. Who is there? Come out. You cannot defeat me no matter how much you try. Is that a challenge? Wait, Raf. Something about this doesn't seem like a good idea. I mean, after all, this one looks to be human. Well, so did the last one. Ouch, hey. Whoa. Ah! Michelangelo. Okay, so this is how it's going to work. You have one chance to let him go or else you're doomed. What are you freaks? <laughs> what? We're not freaks, we're turtles. Let him go. What are you gonna do about a turtle? This. Cutie turtle, what are you even doing with those weapons? You think you're some kind of ninjas? Uh, it's more interesting here than I thought, and I only just got here. You turtles haven't heard the last of me. I am the Shredder and you will not spy on me or get in my way ever again because this is the only time you will ever get a chance to escape. He even kicked my butt. He swung my gear around right into me with so much power. It hurt surprisingly pretty bad. Yeah, this guy definitely had some training before. He knew what he was doing. It was crazy, man. I knew it. We should have stuck together. I have been listening to your conversation. What did he look like? A cheese grater. Marky. Uh, let's see. He had armor with blades on it. He had a helmet on too. And like we said, he had some pretty good ninja skills. Oh yeah, and he calls himself the Shredder. Why? Does he sound familiar to you? Oh no, 
I forbid you all from going out of the sewers. It is too dangerous. You two are lucky he let you go. Master Splinter, wait! I wonder what the deal is. If anyone finds out it's you, Leo, you are the number one son anyways. Man, I'm gonna miss you, New York City. Well, the New York above ground. I have some inventions I can be working on. <sighs> I gotta talk to Splinter.